What's up guys? Welcome to GoGo Motoring YouTube channel. So here we are at the dyno shop finally and uh, we're here to get the car dyno tested in its stock form to get the baseline numbers um, and after we do that uh, we're going to install the three-stage intake manifold and the AA headers and uh, you know bring it back to this same spot to see what the you know whether whether the tune and the three-stage intake manifold and the AA headers worked. So there's the Car. There's the 328i. Uh, here's kind of where we're where we're at. Got some cool cars out here in the, in the back. But uh, yep. Stay tuned. I'm gonna try to take some videos of uh, the pools themselves, and then I'm going to uh, report back on what the results of the dyno test were. Like I said, I think that uh, um. Yeah, this particular dyno uh, runs a little bit lower than others but I don't think that really matters for the purpose of what we're trying to do here since we're going to be testing the car the same dyno machine um, we should know what the impact is of and so on the three-stage intake manifold the, the headers and the tune um, you know what the impact of that is because we're going to be using the same machine to test it so thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned
All right, guys, so you just saw my the 2007 BMW 328i get dyno tested. So what were the results of those pulls? Well, uh, as you can see here, uh, this is the wheel horsepower. So this is not at the crank, right? Like whenever you buy a car and the car, you know, the manufacturer says it's got X number of horsepower, they're talking about the crank. They're not talking about the wheel, the, the horsepower of the wheel. So you have to make an adjustment, an upward adjustment to the horsepower that's being produced at the wheels to arrive at the horsepower that's being produced at the crank, right? So just kind of by way of review, the 2007 BMW 328i, when it was first, you know, when it was released in 2007, the stock number should have been 230 horsepower at the crank uh, and 200 pound foot of torque, right? So uh, let's see what the dyno test uh, revealed. Now keep in mind, this car's 14, 15 years old at this point. It's got 120,000 miles. So there's also the question of, you know, has it reduced, it has it lost any horsepower um, since it was uh, first uh, released? So here's what this is gonna tell us, right? So the dyno test showed that the horsepower at the wheels was almost 200 horsepower at the wheels. That's 199.9 horsepower and also 188.2 pound foot of torque, okay? Now, typically you're supposed to apply a 15 to 20% increase to this number to arrive at the crank. Um, the dyno place where I was at, they said, go ahead and apply a 17% increase to these, uh, uh, you know, horsepower to, at, at the wheels to arrive at the horsepower at the crank, which I did. So if you apply a 17% increase to 199.9 horsepower at the wheels, you actually arrive at 234 horsepower at the crank, right? So the car in its current form actually has four more horsepower than advertised. And with uh, same thing with the torque, I think at 188.2, yeah, you're getting near 220 pound foot of torque. Now, what's interesting about this particular dyno is that you know there's different dyno machines. You know, the one that's probably the most common is the Dyno Jet machine. Uh, so what they told me at the dyno place was that you know, this particular dyno machine, where I went and got the car tested, is actually 15 to 20 percent lower like shows 15 to 20% lower outputs than a dyno jet machine boy, right? So this 199.9 horsepower at the wheels is a conservative estimate. And if we were to if we apply an additional 15% increase to you know this particular dyno machine to get arrived at the dyno jet numbers, you're actually looking at 269 horsepower at the crank and I think 250 pound foot of torque already, right? So um, that's pretty interesting, right? In its stock form, according to this you know, piece of paper and the information that I received from the dyno place, my 2007 BMW 328i coupe may already be producing stock BMW 330 horsepower. And this isn't surprising. There have actually been some articles when these cars were first released that you know BMW understated the horsepower when they said that, that, you know, that, that it was only 230 horsepower and 200 pound foot of torque. Uh, so when you see some of these you know, numbers and make the adjustments for the powertrain loss and also the adjustments for this being a conservative dyno machine, that you know goes to show you that you know this car may already be you know in the 260 horsepower range, 220, 240 pound foot of torque range, uh, which is pretty exciting, right? So we're still going to do these mods, um, but. You know, who knows what that's going to produce? You know, we, we may be approaching uh, BMW 335i numbers, the stock ones, um, you know, 300 horsepower. Um, so we'll, we'll see if we get there. I don't know if we're going to get there, but uh, as soon as I install the mods, we're going to be putting uh, this car back on the dyno machine and we're going to see what the net increase was um, in comparison to what we had in stock. So, anyway, hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, share the video, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, guys.